Besides digitizing actual pottery fragments, the LAP control application can also be used to digitize uh, drawings of pottery uh, using the trace function. To do this, I switch to the trace mode and open an external document. It can be a PDF or a, or a raster drawing. In this case, I will open our latest paper in the Journal of Field, Field Archaeology. It will take a while to load. And I can change the pages here. And I would like to extract uh, digitize this this uh, drawing here. It's, it's in raster form right now. So the first thing I need is to uh, get the scale. To do this, I, I click on the scale. You can see it automatically. It was automatically highlighted because the, the software uh, applied an automatic threshold on the drawing here. And I can also manually adjust this threshold, which will determine what I will be able uh, to select and uh, potentially extract. So let's go back to the scale bar. So threshold is applied. I get selected. Click on the measure tool. This will measure the length of the scale bar in uh, pixels. I could also manually adjust the, the measure here. And now I click the extract scale tool and enter the length of the scale bar in millimeters. So 200 millimeters in this case. So now I have the scale. I can proceed to extract the profile. So now if I click the profile, it will also select the, the whole the whole drawing. So, but I, I just need the profile first. So first thing to do is to to uh, uh, modify the mask here a bit by using the erase masked area tool and disconnect it from the profile. Right-clicking will disable the tool and then again right-clicking and dragging allows me to, to, move, to move the drawing around. So let's carefully erase these parts. Everywhere there is a connection between the profile and any other details, like the handle here. If I erase too much, I can use the Paint Masked Area tool to correct it. So I need to also disconnect it here. Maybe here in these parts. see. Okay, there's still some parts that get selected. Increase the brush size if necessary. Okay, now the profile is selected as it should be. I can click Extract profile it so will create a uh, now it's a it's a vectorized uh, profile you see it's a bit it's a bit jacked because the drawing was the original drawing was low resolution so i can use the smooth function to smooth it out a bit now deselect it and return to the trace mode and to, now, now I need the diameter, so I need to measure it. I use the measure tool here. And use it to measure, actually to measure the, the radius, not the diameter, because the radius is what's extracted. It gets measured here and I can click extract radius. And the drawing now has a radius. I can indicate that it has a it has a rim. I can indicate a bottom point here where it's where the break is. I can add break lines.
I could add, of course, uh, inflection lines and so on and so on. Um, okay, now let's see how we can extract the handle. So I will reapply the threshold. Now it will again select the whole, whole drawing, so I need to do some disconnecting here at the handle. This should be a bit easier. Delete the profile. Like this, and like this. Now I can use like just click and drag to select both parts, so the outside and the inside part of the handle and click the extract handle the handle has been extracted we also need to smooth it out a bit the Rim function here to remove this part now. Okay. And it's to the appropriate part of the drawing. So, this way it's possible to add to your database for for further analysis maybe like with, with the with the Keramage software or other other softwares even drawings that are that have been published it's also possible to extract uh, drawings with uh, photographs like this one so again, we capture the scale, 100 millimeters. File. Smooth it. Radius. Radius. Here. Um, I'll skip the the break lines and such. And can simply click the photo once it is connected from all the other parts. Extract image and add it to our drawing. The last function I'd like to show you is the ability to extract uh, text via the OCR function here. I just click the OCR tool and select text here, like the sample number, and to recognize the text, ask me what I where I would like to <coughs> enter it, for example, as the sample ID. It will be automatically added here. And this way I could also extract uh, other text like annotations. Add it, add it to the drawing as annotations. Example like this.